I developed uh, FFT in 1994 whilst working for the Australian Ballet Company. And I was first introduced to using tape in the um, Australian Rules uh, Premier League. I used those techniques on the dancers, the strapping techniques I learnt in the football club, and I found that it restricted their range of movement too much. So they would rip it off and throw it on the floor and go out on the stage unprotected and unsupported. So I began applying the tape in a functional position by the use of a gathering technique. I then discovered that if you distract tissue before applying the tape, you could be more accurate in the results that you could get. And then making the tape half width wide um, increased the amount of tension that I was able to provide from tape. It's because of force over area equals pressure. And in this case, the pressure is tension. So therefore, if you decrease area by making tape narrower, you increase the amount of force, and therefore you get more tension mm -hmm. as a result of doing that. Uh, the other aspect of FFT is not only applying tension or load to an area. Other taping methods put a pathology in the middle of the tape, so the tape would be, say, this long, the pathology would be in the centre of the tape. The mechanism by with which change is occurring is going to be different because FFT is on the pain and it goes away in various directions and it can be different from one patient to the next patient um, in that you can have a, a, a patient present with exactly the same presenting signs and symptoms bilaterally but the direction can be individual on both sides. Mm -hmm. So you need to assess before applying tape. Okay, but what makes you to invest so much time, so many years, to evolve a special technique in taping? The patient. Um, after all these years, I'm still amazed by the results I see keeps me excited. Such a variety of um, conditions, be it upper limb tension tests to plantar fascia itis or osis, um, medial tibial stress syndrome, to so many different conditions, and non-specific lower back pain, which is the chronic lower back pain that we've just finished our um, randomised control trial on, that you can affect people who are very incapacitated by their pain um, that we've been able to have an effect on that and um, introduce it with other uh, rehab techniques that you would be doing but being able to give strong um, powerful uh, painkiller you you can create a window of opportunity where the patient is far better place to listen to what you've got to say and do what you prescribe, um, yeah, so you, you're in a far better situation than what you previously were. Thank you.